Ten years ago, I met my best friend and we spent the best time of our lives hunkering down during the pandemic of H1N1 in Mexico City. During that time, I have to work from home too, and I like to think that I use my time wisely. And we've been happily married since then. Another person that used that time wisely was Sir Isaac Newton during the pandemic. He opted to work from home in the countryside what was his version of social distancing? So when the Great Plague of London hit, Newton had time to think, reflect, and relax beneath the trees. Fast forward to today, an unprecedented number of unexpected circumstances have occurred. The perfect storm has completely changed the way that company operates just in a few months. We went from digital first to digital only. As individuals, we went from watching celebrity chef shows to learning by doing how to cook three meals per day, and one of them. And we also had to master the art of making a decent homemade latte to survive the lack of sleep during all the intensity of the news that we read every day on our phone. During a couple months, the COVID-19 pandemic has caused extraordinary disruption to the world of work. While some people can work from home, many others are struggling to make a living during this crisis. Reality has surpassed fiction. Corporations are being redefined at the speed at which they can adapt. Now Twitter employees can work from home forever and only come back to physical office when they feel up to it. A lot of companies are planning how to operate with employees virtual first and being cautious in planning for moving employees back into the office. During this pandemic, remote job uh, postings increased by 28% this March. Combine this fact with a 159% increase of remote working between 2005 and 2017. The new normal looks to seem to have a huge impact on the world of marketing and how marketing adapts to engage with people. I'm Edmundo Nava. I'm a global digital marketer and transformation lead at the Deco Group, and I'm so excited to be joining for the very first time hashtag MartechFest Dialogue. Hopefully, you've been enjoying the day so far. This is actually my pre-pandemic uh, profile photo, never released, but now outdated. And this is how I look today from my home office. And I'm going to be talking about how to build future-ready marketing service centers of excellence. So make yourself comfy and feel free to leave me a question or two in the live chat and I'll be jumping in at the end of the session and getting back to you there. So here we are and now the world seems to have ground to a halt or a haltish. While some industries are getting more demand, we completely modify our daily routine and make home our micro world. With social gathering places being closed, people are now getting creative on how to keep connections with the outside world. And there's uncertainty on when the post-pandemic time will start and how it would look. As COVID-19 continues to disrupt the economies, the world has experienced a sharp decline in hiring. Hiring is down 30% in April last year compared from April from last year. So what lies ahead of us? As economies start reopening, the world of work will never be the same again. This can be an opportunity to reboot your marketing team and how you work. So in 2015, Bill Gates spoke in TED Talks about predicting this exact moment and the need to act upon. The main takeaway is that it's time to work together with other people, teams, countries, and increase partnerships. We need to put all of our good ideas into practice. Talking about collaboration, Apple and Google have a historical love-hate relationship 
and they have competed fearlessly trying to get control and get the undivided attention of the customer. Just recently, Apple and Google announced a partnership that allows users to opt in into a decentralized tracing tool designed to help determine if a person has come into contact with someone who, test who tested positive for COVID-19. So if they can partner together to find solutions, then a corporate marketing team can also find ways to successfully partner with IT and deploy a new solution in a couple of weeks. So it is time to future-proof our marketing teams. The idea that you can future-proof your team comes from constantly adapting to an ever-changing world and building a team that can quickly adapt to the shifting priorities and budget cuts while keeping pace with increasing um, tech landscape and integrating best-in-class agencies to enhance your in-house expertise. So many companies have extraordinary marketing professionals scattered across the organizations and working independently. Even if they are doing their best work, they are not connected with other teams to bring different skill sets and to create more impactful experiences. Bringing them all together in a center of excellence, COE, with one mission and measurable goals can change the effectiveness of their work and the outcome of the organization. Also having like-minded people can boost engagement and retention of your high-performing talent. So what are the insights from the marketing leaders and their willingness to transform their marketing teams? Well, actually, 96% of the CMOs said that they will make changes to their organizations over the next two years. And then the CMO indicated that center of excellence COEs are becoming more prevalent. There's a still confusion between CMOs on what exactly is a COE, how it operates, and how do you get started with one. The COE contains the experts with a unique skill set that brought together for all marketing teams can innovate and incubate the best practices. So the COE can increase efficiency. Instead of each team doing the same work across organization, you can laser focus to do it once with localizations and with great quality. Get branding governance. Even if the company wants to look and feel the same across regions, the branding experience should be fluid and evolving all the time in an orchestrated way. This is only achievable by focusing on why and the brand purpose. You need highly trained marketing personnel to create a corporate brand community and achieve cohesive brand evolution. Increase alignment. You have to empower your marketing COE team but the final goal should be co-creating with a common set of company uh, vision and goals tied to a COE, a specific area, mission and goals. Create a product marketing culture. The goal here is to get your marketing team to know and understand what the products actually do and with that in mind to create a consistent user experience. Generate performance content. Create and optimize content to generate value for the company. And finally, create a marketing powerhouse with the latest tools, capabilities, and with those tools available for all functions. To get started, here are my three marketing COE survival rules. Rule number one, buckle up. You won't be driving alone easy roads anymore. First, you have to understand all the marketing activities. Evaluate the current marketing activities with a deep dive assessment. Then, design the future marketing center of excellence. Define the activities to be performed locally versus centrally. Create a service catalog and the operating model. Now it's time to implement the COE. Create your roadmap and centralize your COE talent. Hire for new skill sets.
Rule number two, get a key cast partner. Things will get hairy. You can get a hold of a seasoned digital transformation partner that has navigated that path before. Rule number three, don't be a hero. Possibly the most important rule of all. Make sure you don't risk your own life just to make yourself look good. Make sure that you build your safety net of executive support before wandering in the open. There will be a lot of friendly people willing to influence change and transformation, but also you will find a lot of detractors trying to stop you. And that's all for me today. Thanks for watching my session here for hashtag MartechFest Dialogue. If you want to access my slides, they will be made available for you in the content hub. I wish you well and stay safe and healthy. Thank you.